guys. Um, let me show us how to cut our center top for the kids. Um, having seen the measurements I had, the chest, the shoulder, the sleeve length, and the round sleeve, and the top length, now it's time, time for us to start doing the cutting processes. So right here, your material on fold. Now the folding, we take bearing from the chest measurement by 4, plus extra 1.5 inch allowance. Now that 1.5 inch allowance is very important, it's for in same allowance. So right here, 25 by 4 gave me 6.25, which is roughly 6.5. And then, if you have your 6.5 here, then extra one and a half inch allowance. So this is my folding, and this is the exact folding I want. So having done this now, the next thing you will do now is you put your three inches allowance for the hemming allowance or the folding of the top, three inches for kids. In adults, remember we use four, but for kids, use three inches. Now I will tell you the reason we should use three inches for folding. So right here, you extend the line this way, Right, so this three inches is for your hemming, and you must put it in your kit senator outfit. Now, the top length we have is um, 17 as well. Then, 17 top length is what we have, so you mark at um, 17 top length, or you can turn to your feet with the 17. Then, you mark. Be in mind that in kids' outfits, the measurements look very small. Don't lose interest or hope in the marking processes, make sure your measurements are correct. Then continue with boldness and make sure you finish the outfit. Don't look at this size, it's very small. Yeah, it's very small, but then this is how they actually are. You won't make it to be big and then still want it to enter a small boy. So you have to cut in accordance to their size. So, right here, after having the shoulder line measurement, then the next thing you're going to do now is the armhole, which has already told us on the board that the armhole measurement is gotten by chest by four, right? So his chest is um, 25 by 4, which gives us 6.25. Then his armhole will be 6 inches. I will not this and um, the decimal place there. So I will make use of 6 inches for his armhole. Now this will give me a perfect fitting for my boy. Then when you have gotten this point up to this point, you draw the line, armhole of 6. Then you now apply your 6.25. That's the real chest by 4. Then for for my for my boy now, instead of me to use um, 6.25, I will make use of 6.5, that's six and a half, right? Then six and a half, your mark, then extra one and a half inch for inseam allowance. It's very important. Inseam allowance. Extra one and a half inch. Then the next thing you will do now is the shoulder. The shoulder I have on the board was 10. 10 by 2 is 5. Now 5 inches is the shoulder. Then you have to add 0 0.3 inch for the so the 0 0.3 inch you add is for the shoulder joining. So you have it at um, a 5.3, right? You have 5.3. So for the um, shoulder joining, 5.3, you mark it. Then you connect the shoulder allowance to the real chest in this form, right? Then you have to slant the shoulder. Now remember in my previous videos I did, which I was trying to explain to us that we have slanting range or ranges. Then which range from one inch to three inches in slanting. Then I explained to us that in our outdoor outfit, the slanting starts from two inches to three, right? But this is the total slanting range. But in adults, we use two to three inches for adults, right? And then I told us that in other slanting points, we use them um, one inch to two for um, kids and ladies. So this is where the range, the planting range falls in. So this is a conventional formula or rule, and then you have the one to manipulate it to suit your individual customer. So for my boy now, I will make use of 1.5 inch slanting to slant his senator outfit for him. Now you can set to use two inches to slant, one inch no problem. But for you to be on, on the safer side, it's advisable that you use the middle value, which is a 1.5, and you must slant. Don't forget you must land. Then after that, next thing you're gonna do now is your armhole trimming, which I told us that the difference between the rear chest of every human being and the upper chest is two inches. But because of individual differences, maybe body stature and nature, those values tend to change with time. So you don't have to keep or stick to the conventional rules. Most times you need to adjust 
to suit individual customers. Right here, the measurement for my boy chest is 25, so I will not deduct um, two inches from this and assume it's his upper chest. No, if there's any need for you to be very sure of what you are doing, you need to measure the upper chest, but in your cutting processes and in your manipulation tactics, you need to be very mindful of how you deduct so that it won't be too tight for him at the upper chest. Be in mind that it's better that the outfit is free on him than too tight, right? But then make sure in as much as it's going to be free, let it not be too free or excessively free so it won't give you a, 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 an unbalanced fitting on the body. So right here, after you must have known that, then you measure from the shoulder slanting, the arm hole remaining, which is um, 4.5, get the middle, which is um, 2.25, you mark at 2.25, right? Then from that 2.25, come in by one and a half or one inch for kids, right? So I will use one inch for him so that it won't be too tight for his upper chest. So from there, use arm hook up as well to connect accordingly, right? Then this is the covering nature we have. Make sure it's giving you the replica image of the adult outfit but in a smaller size. So having done this now, or having done this now, the next we're gonna do now is the um, neck. The neck we have on the board is 10 and a half. Then I told us that we have a formula for the neck. Neck by six, minus 0 0.3. So right here, let's work it out and see what it gives us. Then, if you divide 10 and a half by six, it will give you um, 1.75. 1.75, right? Then this 1.75 is the width was measurement, right? Then convention will tell you that the difference between the width and the depth of every neck is half an inch, 0.5. It's half an inch, 0.5. So that means 1.75 is the neck width for my boy, and then I'm, I'm, I am going to maintain this 0.5 to cut the neck. Reasons being that. I will go. I will do embroidering on the outfit. I'm not going to sew any form of facing for him on the outfit. I will maintain the 1.5. You only minus 0.3 from your neck. Whenever you are going to alter or adjust the neckline measurements by the form of sewing facing or cue on the neck. If I'm doing embroidering, don't minus 0.3. Use excess value in cutting. So that at the end of the day, you have the perfect fit on the neck. Because in embroidering, you don't um, have any form of facing on it. That if you are going to embroider on the real body of the outfit, but if you are going to em em do embroidering on the facing and put an uh, attach on the outfit, you now have to minus 0.3 from this. So I, I, I pray you understand what I'm trying to say in a sense. So right here, you mark the 1.75, which is um, roughly 1.8. For the neck width 1.8 be a matter that, that the neck must not be too big or too tight it should be exact so right here we have gotten the width at 1.8 adding 0 0.5 to it we have 2.25 that's um, 2.3 2.3 so right here you now mark accordingly 2.3 and then mark this one as well extend as well and then with the happy for curve as well you now curve it out. So right here, we are done with the front block marker. The next we're gonna do now is the side slit opening. Now, if you are having difficulties on how to get an exact side opening, the easiest form for all kids outfits is to make sure that the opening of the size from the four inches you mark, mark three and a half inch upwards and get the exact point of the opening. So you just have to connect from this point to the point of three and a half inch from there. So this is the nature of the front block of our kit senator. And then if you maintain the formula I've used, if you measure your, your, your customer child correctly, you must have a nice marking. I will call this one now and show us how to cut the back and then you proceed to the abada itself.